Friends, let's learn Birthday by the Beatles. Uh, this song is in the key of A. Beats per minute is 139. It's in common time or 4-4. No capo, standard tuning. Uh, the chords are this, and I'm looking at the chords because I'm giving you this same document. First link in the description of the video, I'm giving you uh, the chords with the chord fingerings, and I'm giving you a standard chart and a number system chart and a whole chapter out of my book on how to read charts, okay? Super duper helpful if you want to be pro level if, all right? So here are the chords. A7, D7, E7, E major, C, and G. And for some reason, I thought there might be an A in there too, but uh, no, there's not. Okay, so those are the chords. Now, this song is built off of a basic 12-bar blues chord progression, okay? But, uh, but it takes some liberties, okay? So... Uh, or I should just say it's kind of bluesy. It's not built directly off the 12-bar blues, but there's some uh, there's some hints to it, okay? Now, um, it starts off right with this. Uh... Now, I'm going to show you that lick, even though I typically don't for these videos, but I'm going to show it to you really quickly. So sliding up to the seventh fret of the fourth string. Hit that twice. Hammer from five to six on the, okay, sorry, that's on the fourth string, okay? Seventh fret, fourth string. If I said third, I'm wrong. Fourth string. Third string, you're gonna pick five and hammer six. Five on the second string. Seven, bend it up and bend it down. Back to the five back to the seven on the fourth string. So it's gonna go something like this. Okay, that's for the A chord. Or the A7. Then you're gonna slide that up to the 10th fret. That's why I'm showing it to you because it's so easy, right? And then back down. Then slide this up to the 12th position. If you can do it one place, you can do it the whole the, all three places, right? And that'll be perfect because that's how this song starts off. That being said, we're gonna assume that someone else is playing that part and now we're just looking at the chords, okay? So it's gonna start off like this. Okay, now we've got the band doing that, we got this. But the chords are this, okay? Four measures of A7, so we got one, two, Seven, one, two, three, four, A seven, three, four, one, two, E seven, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A seven, four, one, two, three. That's the intro. Now, as per the chart, really important that you're looking at the chart because you don't have to think about three and a half or four minutes of chords in some random order. You'll know that there's certain sections that look very similar. In fact, in this case, the intro the verse, the turnaround, all the verses, the end of the song, it's all the same, okay? With one little exception at the very end. And then there is um, a breakdown part, okay? Which does it twice, different both times, uh, but the chords are similar, okay? Or, or actually the same. It's just a portion of it the second time around. And then there's kind of a solo section, which is very easy. So if you remember that, uh, that there's really like three sections and then know which parts come in when, you're gonna get this, okay? That's why I'm giving you the chart. Link is in the description of this video, okay? All right, so we got the verse. So we got... There's a birthday, ba -da 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 -da. birthday to you, D7. A7, E7, A7. And the strumming rhythm I'm doing there is one, two, and, and four, and. Very common strumming rhythm. If you've watched any of my videos, you see, you'll know that a lot of folks use this strumming rhythm, okay? So that's the intro with the, okay? 
and then we've got the verse. Just the chords, right? Actually, they're playing that part in there too, but the background, what's happening in, in the background there are the chords, okay? Now, uh, intro, verse is the same. Uh, there's another verse coming up at the end of the song. That's the same. So now you have that, that's one chunk done, like basically a third of the song done. Let's talk about the breakdown, which happens twice, but first time is with a bunch of drums and many measures of E major, okay? So think about this, right? So uh, that part, right? So we do that for eight measures, and then there's an E major that's played for eight measures, so. the verse again, okay? So, to recap that breakdown, eight measures of just drums, eight measures of the E chord, and then we have back and forth with a C, G, C, G, C, G, uh, and then two measures of E, okay? Then uh, the turnaround, which is next, is really the same as the intro and is the same as the verse. Remember whenever you experience a turnaround in a song, in case, in this case here, a TA on the chart, that means that it's basically the introduction of the song again, but we wouldn't say an introduction again, we call it a turnaround. And it's the same motif as the introduction, but um, happening later in the song, okay? And it becomes something that we're familiar with because we heard it at the beginning of the song, so it kind of sucks you back in to the song there, okay? Now, um, so the turnaround, uh, right? It's that whole bit there, right? And then we have, um, so that's what we're calling the solo, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're going to, it's basically a measure of A7, and we just go one, two, three, four. As denoted on the chart, you'll see a diamond, I'm sorry, not a diamond, but a triangle over that. And so what that means is you hit the chord and you choke it real quick. One, two, three, four, one, two, G. And then you'll see a G with a diamond around it. And that means hit the chord and hold it out for the rest of the measure. In this case, we're, we're striking it on three, so we're only holding it for two beats, three and four. So watch this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is that. Okay, that's the solo part, only happens one time, and then we're into the. It says BD right here, not for birthday, but for breakdown. Okay, so we just I just called it that again, okay, so we got. So it's the same thing again, C, G, C, G, C, G, C, G, E, E, okay? Uh, see the chart, it's going to be way easier, okay? Um, and then, you know, as far as the, the verse or the outro of the song, we basically have the same thing, except we have two measures of A7 at the end, and the very last measure holds the A7 with a a diamond. Okay, so that's the only thing. So um, I'm going to play this here for you in just one moment so you can hear it a little bit more cohesively, okay, on the way out. Uh, while that is playing, look out, check out a card that I have for you that'll pop up on the screen that'll basically invite you to the playlist that I have of other Beatles songs that I have. My goal is to do them all. We're, we're on our way to doing that, okay? So click on that link. If you need help with guitar in general, I have a super course for you for absolutely free. Over half a million people have gone through it. It'll help out a ton. Check that out. And of course, you have the chords and the PDFs with the, ch the charts uh, in the description of this video. Hit that first link. It's all free for you, friends. All right, there you go. So. Um, here we go. So, during this part, right? So that's going to be. This is the verse. E7. Does 
that break down? Does that for eight measures, and then we got E. 